Hello everyone, Dr. Deadpool here with an important message about male genitalia. Now I know what you're thinking, here comes another preachy message about our rucksacks, but not today. No, no, today we're talking about Testicular Cancer Awareness Month. And Disney has graciously offered the star of one of its biggest summer movies to demonstrate a routine self-examination. Bring it in. Do I have to do this? What, are you afraid your little showman will shrink in the spotlight? No worries. I'm here. Oh. I gotcha. Whoa, no, 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 no. Fuck it, we'll just do over the pants hand stuff. Oh, wow, well. okay. Listen, everybody, check yourself. Testicular cancer is very treatable, and I'm out of here. You be okay? No, it's disgusting. Yui, come on! <laughs> okay. Testicular cancer is the leading cancer in men ages 15 to 35, but it's one of the most treatable cancers if caught early. Where does cowardice like that come from? We should just go film it if you're Let's comfortable with that. Yeah. They all kind of took the initiative to do everything they could to prepare for this, but also they knew they really wanted to deliver for the fans who have lived with these characters for 20 years. They all came a week early just to like rehearse and do the practice, the fight sequence over and over and over again, which I thought was a real testament to their work ethic and dedication. People underestimate what it takes to be an action actor and how athletic you have to be, how in condition you have to be. You know, they take it kind of for granted you know, until they come on set and try to do it themselves. And then they see what's up. Don't you go here. The last two are quick. I box a lot when I'm getting ready to do any kind of action. It's great for your arms. It just is incredible. Just it helps your whole body move when you're fighting. And then more strength, more cardio, more running, just to be ready for whatever they threw at me. I still work out on a regular basis at home, so I still kind of keep myself in, I guess you can say, blade condition. But, you know, it's still challenging. It's like a fighter who hasn't been in the ring for a, a while. You still have the skill sets, but you're rusty. Your timing might be just a little off. And God knows, the next day after you film and you fight, you are sore, sore, sore. I've done martial arts since I was like nine. I've tricked and flipped and stuff all my life and like break dance. So it's all like a part of movement and some of it I've played around with since I've been a kid, you know, doing backflips off chain link fences and things and on dares. And so I feel like I've been training for this stuff my whole life just for fun. Everything looks good. They call me the gambit. Good. Hey, you sure you didn't just really, really want them to, but it never quite worked out? I've been dancing around Gambit for almost close to like 20 years now. I had done truly anything to actually walk onto screen as Gambit just even one time. You want me to look intense or you want me to look like really chill? Like you tell me, man. I am trusting your instincts. Even my childhood, I was playing Gambit. My dad's from New Orleans. And I was the kid that was grabbing like my dad's duster, or my dad's raincoat. I had a pack of cards and I was always chucking them at my friends and like doing the whole thing. Talk or I'm gonna start dealing. I just felt like we just played the like the highest stakes like make believe game that you could possibly play. I, I didn't want to stop yesterday. Everybody was like tired. I was like, do we have to go home? <laughs> do I have to take it off? 